Busta! <laughs> Look, it's Buster, Scout, and Diggly. It's Christmas Eve, <laughs> and they're excited for Santa to arrive with the presents. Time for bed, guys. Santa won't come if you're still wide awake. Uh-oh, it's that sneaky villain bandit bus. What's he up to this time? There's Santa, putting the presents under the tree. He must be very busy tonight. Oh no! Bandit is stealing all the presents from under the tree. What a villain he is! Now he's sneaking away. Whoops! Serves Bandit right. What's he seen now? The golden Christmas star. He's going to steal that as well. Oh dear. He's trying to pull it right off the tree. Look! Now Bandit is all tangled up. It'll take him ages to get untangled. It's taken all night, but Bandit is finally free. Now he's sneaking away with the presents. Oh. oh, poor Buster. All the presents have been stolen. He looks so upset. Bandit really is the worst. But wait, what's this? What's Bandit doing? Look, Bandit is putting all the presents back under the tree. Maybe he's not so mean huh? after all. All the presents are there after all. Buster is so happy. Merry Christmas! Hmm, there's Santa. He doesn't look very pleased with Bandit. But what's this? He puts a present for Bandit under the tree too. Bandit earned it by giving the presents back. You did the right thing, Bandit. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Happy holidays, Buster. Oh no. Buster doesn't look very happy, does he? Let's go and see what's wrong with him. Buster seems very bored. Has he run out of things to do? <gasps> Did you hear that, everyone? Yes, it's Buster's friend, the Robin. But where could he be? I can't see him anywhere, can you? That's a very big sigh from Buster. <laughs> Oh, look, there he is. And he's carrying Buster's bobble. I think he wants you to follow him, Buster. Go on, let's see what he wants to show you. Oh, he is bringing back a scarf. Great idea, Buster. You should both build a snowman. Look at him, using his wheels to pile up all the snow. Clever, Buster. Wow, it's already taking shape. And there's the head. Well done, Robin. A snowman isn't complete without a scarf. <gasps> what are those pieces of coal for? Of course. Now the Robin's gone to find something else. Oh yes, a carrot for their snowman's nose. What a fantastic snowman. But look. Buster thinks something's missing. Wow, that's a big gust of wind. And look, it's blown a top hat to Buster and the Robin. That's what was missing. Well done, Buster. The Robin certainly agrees. <laughs> oh, wow. The snowman has come alive. Buster is so excited. Buster now has not only the Robin to play with, but his new snowman friend, too. Wakey, wakey, Buster. It's a brand new day. Wait a minute. There's oh. no color. That's strange. Even Robin doesn't <laughs> have any color. Look, Robin. Buster made you colorful again. Well done, Buster. Oh no, that baby duckling looks sad. She's lost her color. Maybe Buster can help. Great job! The color is back again. Oh, look how happy the duckling is now. Oh look, Terry's farm has lost its color too. Can Buster help? He sure can. You've got the magic touch, Buster. Oh no, not Scout too. Go on, Buster. 
Help her be colorful again. There you go, Scout. Back to normal. Look, Buster can change the color of things, too. Now the ball is green. And now the ball is purple. Buster knows how to color things in. Wow! Buster made Scout rainbow colored. Now he's rainbow colored, too. It's Buster the Rainbow Bus. It's Terry again. <laughs> now it's Rainbow Terry. And look at all the fields! And the barn! Rainbow colors everywhere. Amazing! Buster even turned the clouds different colors. There's just one thing missing. A rainbow, of course. The Rainbow Bus is driving off over the rainbow. Bye-bye! Oh, Buster. It was only a dream. And it's raining outside. Oh, I'm sorry, Buster. <laughs> Wait. Maybe you're magic after all, Buster. You made the sun come out. Look, it's Jessie the Jeep. She's got a cake. Wow, that looks tasty. But here comes Bandit Bus. He looks mischievous. <laughs> oh, no. He's eating Jessie's cake. That's not fair at all. Poor Jesse. There's Buster the bus. And there's Bandit, driving too fast. <sighs> Look, Buster's gone to play with Scout. He's given her a soccer ball as a present. Look at Scout go! Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower. But here comes Bandit. I wonder what that awful bully is up to. <laughs> oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower. Bandit is a menace. Uh-oh, he's seen Scout's ball. Bandit is stealing the ball for himself. What a bully! Buster wants to do something. Poor Scout is really upset. Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jesse is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. Now Buster, Scout, and Jesse can play soccer in peace. It's Buster the bus. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun flying that kite. Look out! Oh no! Scout accidentally hit Buster, and now the kite has flown away. I'm sure Scout didn't mean it, Buster. <laughs> Look, what's this? It's a letter addressed to Santa, but it's not been delivered. I think Buster has an idea. He's going to deliver the letter himself to make sure it gets to Santa safely. Oh no, the letter! Phew! Thanks for the help, Robin. Off Buster goes. It's a long way to the North Pole where Santa lives. It's cold and tough. Be careful you don't get lost, Buster. Oh dear. Almost there, Buster. What's this? Reindeer tracks? Look, it's Santa! Buster made it! Santa's saying hello, Buster. Go and give him the letter. Buster's driven such a long way to deliver it. Let's see what it says. Whoa! It's asking Santa to give Buster a kite for Christmas. It's from Scout. What a loyal friend Scout is. I think Santa knows what to do. Well done for delivering the letter, Buster. It's Christmas morning. Wake up, Buster. Oh, there's nothing under the tree. Maybe Santa was too busy. Wait, there's a present after all. Merry Christmas, Buster. 
And there it is, just like Scout asked. A kite to replace the one Buster lost. Thank you, Scout. What a thoughtful Christmas gift. Hey, look. It's all the construction vehicles. Looks like they're repairing the road by Old McDonald's farm. See? Diggly and CJ are filling the pit with fresh concrete. Cool. What is it, Diggly? Huh? Oh no! The barn is on fire! Huh? Oh phew! Here comes Ashley the fire truck! Wait! Ashley! Look out! The concrete is still wet! Oh no! Ashley's got stuck in the concrete! How will we put the fire out now? Huh? <laughs> Johnny and Dozer are trying to get Ashley out. But be careful, guys. You'll get stuck too. Oh, no. The fire is still burning. What are we going to do? Wait a minute. I think Diggly has an idea. Wow. They're going to use all those pipes to form one long pipe. <laughs> then they're going to point it at the barn. And then go Ashley! The water is travelling all the way down the pipe. There! The fire is put out. Way to go, Digley! Now Diggly is digging Ashley out of the concrete. Everything is safe and sound now. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Look, it's the town zoo. And there's Bandit Bus. What's he up to this time? Oh no, he's unlocking the zoo doors. <laughs> and now he's opening them. The zoo animals might escape. Oh dear, that baby lion has just got out. Hey, it's Diggly and Daisy, driving along oh. the road. And there's Tony the truck. Hi, Tony. They've all got work to do. Tony's on his way to deliver some boxes. Look, the baby lion. Tony is scared. He's running away. Oh. Diggly and Daisy wonder what he's running from. Hmm. Oh. The baby lion is still there. Diggly and Daisy are frightened. Lions can be dangerous. But they can't just leave him to roam free. He needs to go back to the zoo. I think Diggly has a plan. Look, a toy mouse on a string. The baby lion is chasing it. He'll follow it anywhere. Oh, I see. Diggly and Daisy are pulling the string. They're going to use it to lead the baby lion all the way back to the zoo. Ooh. Oops. Daisy's knocked the sign. Now they don't know which way the zoo is. Maybe it's this way? Oh, dear. They've gone round in a circle. Well, maybe it's this way. Oh. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh no! The baby lion has caught up! But wait, he doesn't seem so scary. He just wants to play. <laughs> there, the baby lion is back at the zoo safe and sound. Good job, Diggly and Daisy. Buster, wake up! There's a snowflake! That can only mean one thing. It must be snowing! Wow, it is snowing! <laughs> Whee! But wait, where's the Christmas tree? That one won't do, <sighs> will it? Oh, look, it's a friendly robin. I wonder what he's saying. I think he wants Buster to follow him. Oh, he wants to help Buster find a new Christmas tree. Hmm, these ones aren't quite right. Wow, that one looks amazing. Mm. Buster certainly agrees. Mm. 
That's a tall tree, isn't it, Buster? <laughs> Careful does it, Buster. Whoop, it's wobbling. It's wobbling. Keep going, Buster. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> Off Buster goes to carry it back to the garage. I'm not sure if that will fit. It looks very big. Be careful with the turns, Buster. Oh no, behind you, Buster, you've lost the tree. Look behind you. Quick, 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 hurry, Buster, turn around. Oh no, the tree is bouncing away. Quick, Buster, see if you can catch up with it. Now it's bouncing through all of the Christmas lights. <gasps> quick, Buster. Do you think Buster's going to make it? Look at it, flying through the air. Go on, Buster. Lucky you, Buster. That's a relief. <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh, look, here's Terry. Here's Scout. They've come to celebrate the holidays with Buster. Well done, and happy holidays, Buster. It's the construction crew. They're finishing their work on a new tunnel. Uh-oh. What's that sound? There's been a huge explosion down the mountain. Look, huge rolling snowballs. It's an avalanche. CJ tells the other workers to get inside the tunnel for safety. Those are pushes, Johnny, and there's no time to waste. Digley rushes to Daisy and tells her to get into the tunnel. The two get in just in time and the snow crashes down behind them. It's really dark in the tunnel. Diggly grabs a lantern and goes to investigate the snowed-in entrance. It looks too thick to dig through. Even Johnny can't dig through it. Diggly starts investigating the rest of the tunnel. He can spot something up ahead. There are some train carriages on the tracks. The tracks lead deeper into the tunnel. Diggly thinks that they can get on the train and escape out the other end of the tunnel. The construction crew have all jumped on the train. Dozer is nervous to be at the front. Johnny gives them a push and they're off! Whoa! It's like a giant roller coaster! Look at them go! This looks like fun! Uh-oh! There is a snow blockage that they're going to crash into! The construction crew burst through the snow. They're outside and safe. Good job, Diggly and Dozer! Hey, it's Diggly! Time for a hard day's work on the construction site. But wait, what has Diggly seen? <gasps> oh wow, a robot digger! I wonder what that's doing here. Johnny is going to turn the machine on. Oh, that's it. The robot looks ready to work. Now the construction vehicles are hard at work. Diggly is digging a trench, but now the robot digger is here to help. Look out, Diggly. The robot is digging very fast. Let's just stay out of its way. Look at the robot digger go. Dozer has to move fast to keep up. Whoa! The robot digger has finished its job already. <gasps> oh, poor Diggly. He feels useless now that the robot has done his job for him. What's this? A drip of water has hit the robot. I don't think the robot is waterproof. Oh no, it's going haywire. It's smashing up all the construction sites. Somebody needs to stop it. Diggly and Dozer are jumping into action. Dozer is holding the robot back. But he can't hold it forever. Quick, Diggly! Phew! The robot is up. Well done, Diggly and Dozer. You saved the day. Oh. 
But what can we do with the robot now? It's a very hot day today. Oh, Diggly has turned the robot digger into a robot fan. How very clever of him. It's a new day at the construction site. I wonder what they'll build today. Ooh, Mr. Rubble says they're going to build a car wash. Amazing. Everyone's working as a team to build the car wash. Now they just need to add soap. Oh dear, that barrel doesn't look like soap. But Bump hasn't noticed. Here's Mr. Rubble to take a look. Oh dear, he's all dirty. Not to worry, he can get all clean in the new car wash. Uh, oh dear, something's gone wrong. It turned Mr. Rubble green. I don't think he's noticed. They can't let him look in the mirror. Diggly's investigating. There's the problem. Bump put paint in the car wash, not soap. They'll need to paint Mr. Rubble back to the right colour. Splosh! Daisy splashed Mr. Rubble with mud. Now he'll need to use the car wash again. In Mr. Rubble goes. Oh no, now Mr. Rubble is blue. Quick, they need to stop him before he looks in the mirror. Splash! Nice work, Daisy. Now he needs to use the car wash again. Diggly's putting in another paint can. I hope this is the right colour. Into the car wash Mr. Rubble goes. Phew, he's back to his normal colour at last and squeaky clean too. Thank goodness. Looking good, Mr. Rubble. Good job, everyone. It's a brand new day and it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa, there's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out, here comes Terry. Here comes the teacher too. Oh no. Phew, thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. Mommy Duck is crossing too. Well done everyone for helping! But Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm, what are they doing with those paints? White lines? And some signs. It's a duck crossing. Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like. There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone. <laughs> it's the construction crew. Hard at work as usual. Good work, Diggly and Johnny. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what's in that crate. Whoa. A yellow circle, a red triangle, and a blue square. Mm. Oh. Diggly is right. The blue square will fit at the bottom of the tower. Go on, guys. Put it in place. 
Look out, Dozer. Oh, well, the square is in place at least. Here comes CJ. A little cement. And it's a door. I don't think Dozer liked being shut inside. Now the red triangle. Where does that belong? Aha! At the top of the flagpole. Go on, Diggly. Raise the flag. There. Well done, Diggly. Now just the yellow circle to go. I wonder where that goes. Oh, it's a clock. Which means it belongs at the very top of the clock tower. Somebody will have to go all the way up there. Be brave, Diggly. It's high up, but you can do it. Ready, everyone? Heave! <gasps> up and up we go. Don't look down, Diggly. Almost there. Keep pulling. There. Careful, Diggly. Just gently put the clock in place. Well done. You did it. What a brave little digger Diggly is. See you next time. Hooray! It's time for the big race. Diggly, Scout and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup. Oh, Bandit is racing too. Ready, steady, go! And they're off. Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast. Look out! Scout is speeding ahead. Scout's taking the lead. Uh-oh, a low bridge. Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around. Buster and Diggly have reached a river. How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge. It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no! That's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater. But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice tasty ice cream. And of course, the winner's cup. There's Buster and Scout. They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no! Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. Now Buster is heading inside and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! Buster doesn't look well at all! Poor Buster! Whoa! He's got a temperature! He'll have to stay home today to get better! Now it's time for some medicine! Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better! There, that wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. Scout's feeling better too. They can go outside and play again. But wait, Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. Good job, everyone. Wait. Mommy has another idea. They can wear these face masks too, so they don't get sick. There! Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely. 
They're so happy now that they're feeling better again. 